Premier McGuinty unveiled the Liberal platform for the upcoming provincial election. Your comments on some of the high points? Well, it's been, it's been a busy day. The, the platform was released at one o'clock this afternoon, and just some of the highlights, and just going off the top of my head, was the uh, you know the strengthening of the position with respect to uh, full day kindergarten, making sure that that's fully implemented by 2014, because it's important that uh, you know the kids get a strong start in order to have a strong finish. You have a strong start. There was uh, there was some stuff in the platform about. Um, you know, being able to keep seniors in their home longer because it's just not about more long-term care beds. It's about implementing and having programs uh, so that uh, seniors can stay in their homes longer, having uh, doctors make house calls for, uh, for people that are in a frail condition. I know my dad in the last days of his life, just as a, you know, as a personal example, uh, you know, it was very, very difficult to get him out to the doctor. And then, you know, closing, they had uh, some, you know some more talk and really pushing the uh, the clean energy aspect and the ten percent off of the uh, off the hydro bills with the Clean Energy Act. Now, today, um, some conservative emails were coming out s uh, debating the Liberal government's criticism of the fourteen bil billion dollar hole in the HUDAC platform. How does this all work out? I mean, who's telling the truth? Who's? I mean, it seems like they're. People are taking turns calling each other fibbers or liars on this one. Well, I think that you know the important thing to remember is that uh, you know the Liberal platform was fully uh, costed and it was uh, you know fully costed by a, a, an economist. And as, as to my understanding, uh, you know my opponent uh, made a, a statement that their platform was reviewed by the Auditor General, and I would challenge him, you know, to bring that review forward because. It's also my understanding that the Conservatives have a $14 billion hole in their platform. And when you have that amount of money missing out of your platform, it leads to deep cuts in health care and education. I mean, we don't even need to go back and visit uh, the, the fact that the Conservatives voted against every piece of infrastructure that was built in the riding in the last uh, few years. But it leads to deep cuts in health care and education. And I think that, you know, we're at a point now with respect to our health care that you know people have been paying into it paying into it paying into it and now it's going to be time as we have an aging population you don't want a conservative government to come in and start cutting now with all the infrastructure work that was done in this last term under Jim Brownell our MPP who's retiring and, and, and liberal under the McGuinty government how do you as a candidate replacing Mr. Brownell attempting to replace Mr. Brownell deal with some of the campaign promises being tossed around by the the Hudak team and by Jim McDonnell, who is your opposition? Uh, you know, our, the, the Liberal platform has been fully costed, and, and I want to really, really stress the point. I would challenge my opponent to bring forward the Auditor General review that he talks about, because I don't think such a review exists. I mean, when you have a, a hole in your platform of that amount of money, it leads to deep cuts in health care and education, and you know, you can't go from one end of the riding to the other without seeing the, the uh, the inf infrastructure fingerprints of Jim Brunel and the Ontario Liberal government. All right. Good luck.